Structural salvage is now being tested in the EPTU in Star Citizen, and I was excited for it, but little did I know that I myself would be structurally salvaged. Salvaged alive in the middle of my reclaimer. And this story by what happened. My name's Dead Leader, and let's take a look. Well, 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 well. I'm excited for this build. This is the, uh, on the test branch. We've finally got structural salvaging. We've got fancy hair, apparently. Let's take a look. Fancy, fancy. Are that, uh, I usually go for the faux hawk, but it doesn't look as, as long as you, hey, now. Beautiful. Kind of doing a, I wouldn't mind messing with the longer hair. Is it a good long hair? There you go, it's the Karen. Uh, I just look like um, Slytherin. Just looks like a regular, like a dude. Yeah, looks too Roman, too real. Uh, well, I think I'll probably still go with the. There used to be more long hair options than aren't just Karen. I thought this was supposed to have like multiple like color gradient options and stuff, or is it just like they've added the hair physics in I think it's I think that's what this is just the hair physics is in for the first iteration because I don't think that's even more I guess less hairstyles than we normally have okay so for this one I'm using my reclaimer my best and show reclaimer aka the white and pink hello kitty looking one which I've named the Barbie's dream car so gotta make sure I fill up my Star Kitty mug before I leave. I've also got appropriate outfit for uh, salvaging in that as well. I've got my pink and white star-crossed lovers thing and my, my, my pink uh, bear helmet. Oh, it's here. Okay, this is the new tractor beam stuff. Oh, yes, the containers. I'm curious for these as well. Buy that. Buy a few of those. This is what will help make ships with the external storage, like the Sulin and that, a lot better. So with the Reclaimer, uh, it now comes with the just only the trawler connected, and I hate the trawler beam, so I'm going to buy two of braids here, so I can actually I'll scrape stuff. Okay. Reclaimer, grab that. And I'll just load out the new braid beam. See the game. Hello Kitty. Yeah, trawler. Don't like trawler. It's just it's too big and too slow. And that like you could like hold it over an area and it won't fully scrape it until you have to hold it for way longer. And there's no way to just I don't know. Unless you just like are only scraping like half of an area. Oh, this is the new claw. Uh, see, they've added the, it's on like a different joint and it's got little grinders in it. So it's a completely different like claw than what it was. But, you know, it still looks pretty badass. I'm excited to do this. Okay. So is it like the elevator? Is it? Hello? I'd find the interaction for, I think there's no more. Yeah, I think this elevator's just broken from the outside. You can't call it. Yeah, this, the back one works fine though. Which is remarkable to think that this is the reliable elevator on the Reclaimer. What an age we live in. Okay, so these are new. So these are some of the things that I'm excited about for the service. And there's now an internal storage. And if you go back to my video I did on um, hull munching and what they'd shown and what I thought that they should do, the the one big thing is I said they should have an internal storage so you don't have to keep coming here and spinning it every five boxes. Let's see here. Can you craft anything different? Multi-tool. Track beam attachment. Ah, oh, so it says RMC and CM construction materials. Okay. So some of them, it just, I assume it needs both of some, some things now. And there's nothing to eject yet. Okay, curious. Interesting to see if I fill it up like all the way to the brim and then set auto eject. Like, will it keep just pumping out in really big boxes or whatever? We'll find out. Right. 
Let's get this puppy out in the, the field. So, I'm curious to see how the scraping and, you know, the, Thank the you. salvaging, the kind of like structural salvaging is all going to kind of work together and what the costs are. And if you can just, you know, the big missions, like there's those hammerhead ones where you've got to scrape them to get like the payment. Can you just truckly salvage it? And does that take long to be able to do that? And do you just get the money immediately? Because you just go from you know, jump from contract to contract, just cracking them for large profit. Instead of bothering even salvaging. What have we got here? We've got the... Cutter... Score reset, yes. Yeah, maybe we'll just do like a Scorpius. Which one's the closest? This is pretty close. All right, we'll just start with a small one. Maybe we'll unlock some more sort of missions by going through them successfully. Yeah, it's not that far away either. Okay. 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 That still looks so good. I like how silly this skin is. <laughs> okay. So where is the Scorpius? Yeah, I don't want to cramp. I always would do this normally. Is like I come in way too hot and I slam into it and. I don't want to do that this time. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know where to line this up for the claw in particular, so I guess I'll... I'm just gonna figure that out as I go along. I know where to, like, to place the ship for the salvaging lasers, but not for the claw itself. So this is the claw... Yeah, interclaw operator seat, nice. All right, how does this? Oh, yeah, okay. It's this M. Like when you're adjusting into like mining mode or something, you press M and it takes it out. Okay. All right, so we're fracturing. We've got a fracture field on the left, and then disintegration field. Okay. All right, it says 5.5 SUs. Oh. Okay, fractured. Oh, I turned it off. Put it back on. Okay, it's right click. Gotcha. This is disintegration. Okay, so I can't like point this claw around or whatever. You know, it's like where it just has to be. Whoop. There we go. I Thanos them <laughs> into my little thing. I mean, that looks better than what it did with the, the test graphics. You know, like at least it looks kind of cool. It, like, I, I mean, it is it's silly, it's a big vacuum, but it defeats the purpose of a claw, I guess. Right, let's go off this hammerhead one. This is one we can get like 250 grand off. Um, but it's supposed to be like, oh, you gotta scrape like the whole thing so it's unrecognizable. Um, and then you get the payout, which normally, like, honestly, could probably take like over an hour. Um, especially if you're solo, so. If we can just crack this in like as fast as that one was, that's pretty, pretty good profit. Yeah, I'm ahead. Okay, so in wake of disaster, it just popped up while I wasn't recording. But this is the one where it's like a big battlefield of ships. I wonder like if I can just rock up and then just fracture all of them. <laughs> And then just like get the hell out of there or even if like if you fracture it does the cargo stay like i don't know what i really should have done is upgrade this qt drive because it took so long like i was an idiot i was at bloody cousin crows i only upgraded the the salvaging beam i should have upgraded my qt drive this is stupid this is taking so long to get here like it could be so many other people by here by now Okay. This is what we've got. Salvage. Epic 
close to what do we got? There's Argo Raft, Redeemer, Carrick, that's a good one. The Carrick I feel bad about cracking as well because the cargo and that you like can't get out normally. Corsair, like you, it's too big to get through the door. Wait, what's that? Carrick. Hold on. Wait, is there another player here? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm targeted. Okay, there is another player here. Let's just uh, go about our business and uh, hope that they ignore me, you know? And like, I'm not a threat, and then maybe they won't be a threat. Wait a minute, was that the Fate Seal Lightning? It's like, like, why would a fighter be here? If it's like, there's no one else here. It literally has no business to get this contract. They have to pay like 250 grand. If they're not actually escorting anyone. There we go, I'm under attack. Uh, okay, so this person literally just here to bother people testing out salvage. <laughs> Let's see if I can spot them. We just run into them. Something I do in the carrack a lot of the time, you wouldn't expect. I'm soloing, I just fly directly into them with shields at max. Ah, this guy's staying out of my line of sight. Come here. Right, maybe we'll just... Like... Get a cute little girl. Look how long it takes to charge. So, yeah, he's almost got my back shield down. Alright, I'll just like... QT out, then QT back in. Maybe I can get a, a, a jump on him. Or maybe I'll get tired of it. I didn't upgrade my shield. The shields are... Like, there's not much you can upgrade them to anyway. The only thing that the Rook Climber really needs to be upgraded is the QT drive-in, the, um, the scraper beam from the trawlers. Okay. Let's see, do you see me? Where is he? That's the Kara. There he is. Well, at least he's red now. Right. I won't lock on to him, but I'll try and like jet into him as fast as possible, hopefully before he recognizes me. Ah, okay, no, he's dark with me. Wolf Diamond. Curse you, come here. Hopefully he still doesn't know that I'm actually just trying to ram into him. Maybe he thinks I'm like, just trying to get a look at him in pleading. Oh, leave me alone, please. Nope. Ah, he's way too fast. I mean, I have that ship. I know he can stay completely out of my, out of my field for vision. All right. I'll try again, see if I can't, yeah. If we can't get a jump on him, or at least come in with the most shield and then try and Ooh, maybe we can like QT through him. Is that a thing? Can I, can I kill him by just <laughs> getting him sucked into my quantum field? Come here. Oh, that is so close. I don't have any jet. Come here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, almost, almost. Oh. No, he's backing off. Uh. Yeah, he's just playing with me now. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, yeah, come on, see if we can QT through him. Get him. No. Oh, that was worth a try. All right, we'll load back in again. Maybe we can just like, maybe we'll tire him out. Okay, shield's back. Who's the back? Oh, 
Right. Well, we'll seize him already, so he can definitely see me. Maybe I'll just head. Um, you get in as close to the carrack as possible. Maybe he won't, you know, be as lined onto me, and I can just quickly get a quick fracture out. <laughs> now I'm just adamant. I don't even care about, you know, testing it here. I could go anywhere else and do it, but now it's a it's a point of pride. Now I can't. Yeah, he's definitely shooting. Me. Oh no, I came too hot. Slow down, shit. I wanted to like beeline right there and hope that he was thought I was like playing around with him and get a good fracture out and then leave. I mean, at least like I'm pretty sure I would have. I think I've drained like his uh, ballistic. So now he's uh, unless he's got a full energy build, I would have drained a lot of his. Yeah, he's doing fine. Energy weapons. Okay, where is it? Okay. Is this the carrot? Where have I missed it? No, that's the redeemer. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking at it right. Stop it. Look, there it is. I never shot it a second time. This is not. <laughs> this is not the rush in with shields of full. Come here! That I was planning on doing because I overshot it twice like an idiot. Wasted those shields. Could have definitely cracked that by now. Ah, fuck it, let's just do it anyway. Maybe he just still won't expect it. We we'll keep playing around because at first he was like directly going for my back shield, so he was being methodical, but now he's just more playing around with me. Okay, now he's really getting the front shields down. I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't stop me, wolf, diamond, da da da. I could fracture him. That'd be good. Come on. Oh God. I don't remember how to do this. Am I close enough? I don't know. Get that damn arm out. He shoot my arm. Come on. What? Shit, did he. You shot my arm off? Is it working? I think you shot my arm off. Okay. Maybe this was a bad idea. I just bet. Okay, and I'm soft death. I'm in soft death. Okay. Well, fuck. Wait, can you use the turrets in soft death? I don't think you can, but I think I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to stand up straight for two seconds. Let's see if I can get to um the like the big roof turret at the back. Maybe there's by some weird chance. That always freaks me out. <laughs> like being zero G in ships and having to maneuver them. I forget you forget that it's a thing. Okay, up here. That's like the left through here, it's all stairs. Maybe I can get some surprise shots off on him. I'm pretty sure this is frivolous that you can't do this. This turret feels far more dramatic than it really is. Like, I don't, the weapons aren't even that good. <laughs> oh, Galdorian actually, they're, they're not half bad. Are they four or five? What is there? Any power? No, I don't think. No. No power on. Wheel. Yeah, what's the sound? No, it's not, there's no power on here. No, no. Wait. Hold on. Is that the. <laughs> is that the salvaging sounds? What's happening? Ah, <gasps> oh, you dirty little dot. See, there's Wolf. Okay. So that's what he was doing here. He wasn't just trolling. He was. Taking out salvagers and then getting his buddy in on the reclaimer to salvage the salvager. I get it. I get your shtick. Well, I mean, well done, you know? Wait, what happens if I'm inside the ship? Wait, I'm, <laughs> I 
I'm currently being structurally salvaged. Oh. He salvaged me. My structure. My bones. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, first guy got a crime stat for firing at me. The second guy fractured my ship after he'd soft death me. Is this guy going to get a crime stat? Because he killed me. Like, he didn't just salvage my ship. He also committed a murder. Let's see if it pops up at the top. I'm going to report him. Uh, I must just, whatever. Journal entry, whatever. Nothing, whatever. Contract available, whatever. I've got a feeling he got away. Yep. And he got away with murder. Maybe it was because I was too blurry. I was all pink and everything. I needed to be a little bit more stealth. So, you know, gotta take it a little bit more seriously. Can I go run around dressed up like pink, looking real obvious? Gotta look a little bit more, you know, dark and serious. And, you know, just not, a, not as obvious, you know, from afar. There you go. Nice and discreet. No one's. Went, went drawn here. Attention like this. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you can buy stuff and send directly to storage boxes you buy. That's cool. That means you can, like, buy a storage box for onto your ship and it'll put it on there. And then you can buy, like, say, fill it up with drinks or whatever or armor and then have it all ready to go on the ship. It's pretty good. All right, I'm going to get this ranger for the reclaimer this time because oh my god that the QT drive on there that's standard is abysmal alright let's get back on board and see if we can't actually successfully do some proper salvaging without blowing up so we'll see you know, how the unloading of it goes, um, how much we can actually like store in. And if it means like, if it means there's all that internal, uh, here we go, use that hammerhead cleanup thing. Let's just actually do this one this time. So I want to see if this just means with the hull scraping, it, 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 it is what it is. Like, it, can you just stay on that um, laser and sort of infinitely work on it? Sort of like, you know, having to clear it out at some time. That's what I'm assuming is what it means, which for soloers, for the, like doing a salvaging, that's a, a godsend because that run, like every other video that I've done on how to do salvaging, like the reclaimer, like solo, requires you to do, you know, the walk of shame through the ship to like unload them every like five or whatever boxes. So this is gonna revolutionize that. And it's going to be interesting to see, like, how they price all the resources and, you know, they add any other sort of difficulties to it along the way. So let's take a look. Okay. This should be the hammerhead coming up. I do not want to crash into it. I mean, I should be like, no, I'm not going to scan it for cargo. I'm not going to see it because I want to see if, if I fracture it, like, does the salvage just pop out free, like, and start floating? Because that would be good. First of all, let's see, like, jumping on one of these hull salvaging, um, you know, operator seats. Let's see how the hull scraping works now. Oh, 
today. Right, yeah, so we got the tractor module and the... Okay, so this is... I left the trawler on one of them because I still wanted to check out... See if the trawler... Maybe, like, the values had changed. Yeah, see this? Like, if I want to actually scrape 100% of that area, I've just got to keep the beam, like, on it. Or, like, only put half of it. If I move to the edges, like, you know, only put half the beam then, it's not very effective. So you kind of got to, like sit with everything a little bit longer or only scrape like a little bit and kind of move like faster like this but my brain wants to get all of it though, you know so i can't just leave like see like a bunch of that is just like scorched um gray i can't leave like that i have to pick it up so when you come back and try and like get it it's just it's not i don't know it just feels like a weird sort of size to to do it all on for the speed that it's doing it why the abrade which is what i've got on the other seat like it's probably like half the size but it burns like through it a lot quicker so it collects it a lot faster and i know there's probably like uh if you get closer from here and you go at this speed and you only start around here and make sure you go this way and do it from that and then come back here i'm sure there's probably like a good way of doing it but not in the a way that I find satisfying when I'm salvaging. Let's put it that way. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's try the uh, try the other one with the, the braid. And I'm curious to see if like this all goes to the same pool as well of sort of storage, or if they both have like an independent one. So I'm just turn this on. Okay. Braid. Okay, yeah, so this is depot, so it's 3.4 is already in at 360. See that? See, like, it, like, it's a lot quicker to kind of get it out of the way, and I feel like I can kind of, like, finesse and control it more to get what I want. Yes, yes. Scrape that hole. This is good for like, when you're doing something else and salvaging, this is how I usually salvage anyway. I'll be like watching a movie and just sort of like mindlessly salvaging, not having to get up constantly and just like sitting here slowly, like eating this thing, <laughs> like, in the middle of a, a, you know, just space, kind of like losing my mind doing this. That's entertaining to me. And so like not having to get up means I can sort of stay in that state. All right, so I've got about 23 SCUs from that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I would have had to get up and do the run like, what, like four or five times in that. All right, let's get in the claw operator seat and just fracture this bad boy then, shall we? See how this goes. Okay, I'm deploying. Give it a little cracky whack. It would be nice if you could like bend the arm like up or down a little bit and i guess that's sort of you got to keep the pilot doing something but oh, okay there we go let's see yeah, in situation field target yield 355.3 scu jesus that's the whole thing there you go award two hundred fifty thousand dollars. so yeah you can just fracture a ship and get the money for it it's pretty good i mean this i feel like it's Gonna be changed though, you know. So too good. Mm -hmm. yeah, it takes a little extra time. Ok, 
don't really see like much happening to it though, you know? I think it'd be a little bit more of a, it'd be reacting a little more. Nope, that one's just gone. And fill station full. Okay, yeah, so big ship like that just fills it up. I mean, I guess that, may, that I mean, that stuff better be worth it then because if you're gonna fracture something, it just fills up the hold, then you can't keep getting RMC, you know, if that's worth more. All right, let's see uh, how these fill stations work. Okay. But yeah, construction materials, recycled material composites. And you can change the the sizes of the, yeah, okay. Well, I guess, yeah, 16 SCU, I guess that's like, it's, you know, 360 SCUs are on this thing, like having to do them one by one. Be kind of a, a bore, so thank God you can do them bigger. So you do I need like the big tractor for this or the little one? Play. Is that thicker than the actual wall of the ship? <laughs> There's no tractor beam attachment connected to this thing. It's just condition. What the hell? Okay. That one. Okay, I dropped that. Yeah. Let's check that in the. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Alright. There we go. See. Okay, so this can stack here. This is normally like you can stack one high on those grids. That's a too high thing. I wonder if they've changed the the height. Okay, wait, can I change it again? Six in. It's sweet time, does not it? How long this is gonna take? Okay, so it's like after it does a little drop, that's when it's like pick up. Got it. Yeah, I think I, nope. Okay, it's the fast to go. Let's go on top. Every time, oh, we can do both of them. Hold on, let me send this one up to let's get the RMC out of this one and eject. Uh, I do auto eject. Oh, auto eject is normally like you know, I it, it's just it's gonna keep pumping out the big boxes, like just merely after I move them, like usually. Auto eject is just like the first box because then you come back out again and you've got to then eject them and then you're off immediately. But if you've got to get rid of like a massive amount, okay, there's no, it doesn't connect there. Yeah, so you got to get clear out like a massive amount. You can just like make them the 16 SCU boxes, do auto eject, and then as a like if you got a solderer back here, all you got to do is worry about taking them out at your own pace and it uh. It'll keep spitting them out instead of having to press the button again. There we go. This one too. Oh, I think, oh it's out of yeah. It, okay, it doesn't have 16 SCUs for RMC. Check that. It's like like the sizing is a little odd. The reclaimer the back like these ones seem to take up like two and a half, but the grid doesn't go all the way to the edges, which is weird. And you can't stack them too high, but you. And put one that is too high there, which is a little weird. 
whole reclaimer's cargo grid needs to be completely re-looked at. Yeah, okay, so it's still going. Yeah, this is way easier. I guess, like, as well... Uh, no, that's not right. I was like, oh, you could set these to auto-eject <laughs> and then go to the front and, you know, keep working, but no, someone still needs to move them out of the way. I'm an idiot. to fit this I think more than two up here I think on the grid I don't think so right I'm trying to place the front then see how much you can fit at the front no yeah you can do is there a grid on here no uh oh uh oh you can do too high now I've got those other two over there I didn't realize that I was doing it Too long. I could do like too long. One forward. Just trying to think about how, like, what's the most efficient way of like stacking these things. Really is a bit of a Tetris game at this point. These big ones, there's only like a few that you can even put on each grid, and it's all just got to use like the smaller ones. Yeah, long ways, it goes. I don't think we can put one at the front here. No. No, I mean, we can put it there, but there's no snap. I think, it really, yeah, this definitely needs to be readjusted that you can, you know, that it's like each of them is sort of one more to the left. And so you can fit a third one in there. Fix how high you can stack them even more so. Let's just stick it where it fits, shall we? There we go. There, there. there we go. <laughs> okay, I've made a little bit of a mess in here, but as long as it's not in my way in particular, let's get these somewhere. I can't be bothered taking them down to the lower cargo levels. I'm gonna get them out of the buffer and see what the sale price is what the whole you know mood is for that okay so I'm still going I think this is the last one you know everyone stopped so final box thank you oh no one's still that's this that's the final box I don't know, anywhere. Nailed it. Yeah, okay. Why I see you? That's the final, this is the final box. <laughs> Little guy. Mule could sue, you know? Like it's got some workers' rights not being able to actually do any of this work that it was perfectly made for. Sue the Pyro Beam Company. Okay, let's head back to Orison, see what we can sell for it, the TDD. If we were able to suck up an entire ship and it completely filled the reclaimer, I've got a feeling the money is not going to be good for it. And 
juicy, easy, catchy monkey. It's good to know my stealth outfit kept me hidden among the stars this time. Okay. Let's see. What are we looking at? Some of the good news, boss. Application. Extra claimer. RMC. Wait, can it sell? 145 SU. Is that saying it's like $1 a unit? The RMC got me like 170k from just hull scraping. Plus that Edwards of Claimer got me 250 for just cracking it. I guess the I guess you don't have to suck it in if it's not worth much money. You have to suck it in. You can just crack it and then that's the uh the mission done. You get the money from that. Well, I mean, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is then. So I did find out later on that construction materials is worth a lot more money than that. It's just you've got to sell it somewhere else. But I have no idea where else you're supposed to sell it because you can't dock one of these things in a space station. And what, are you supposed to go planet side to, like, where is it? I mean, a, a salvage, like, depot would make sense. But I don't know where else I'm supposed to sell this. I probably should have looked into that before I, I went here. I just assumed the TDD would be able to sell it. Overall, I mean, it's it's fun. I can see some more stuff coming to it. It clearly doesn't have enough gameplay kind of attached to it yet. Um, but I feel like being able to fracture things was a little bit too easy. I think it would be nice if like you had to spend RMC to craft like bolts and use those bolts to be able to fracture ships. And then that way it promoted you to be able to like hull scrape like initially for something until you like either went and sold that RMC or you like earned up enough to like buy a bunch of different bolts so to speak and then you use those bolts to fracture things and like you know you invest in staying out there longer and then the material you get from fracturing something then it's worth a lot more and then like maybe that's what people would be interested in sort of like going out and just grinding bolts in orgs and stuff or like maybe you pirate someone for their bolts or that becomes like one of the rarer commodities is these sort of like <clears throat> player crafted exclusively kind of materials. That would at least in the meantime add like more actual sort of gameplay to and reason to, to hull scrape over fracturing. I think that's a really important part of this is like you can't just want to do one of them. There's two like functions of them and they've either got to be massive like price or time differences or they've got to like inter play and work with each other to be able to make them sort of usable. Anyway, those are my thoughts on hull scraping and me getting selfish myself. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as normal, my name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you in the verse. Thank you again to my Patreon members who allow me to make videos like this for people like you. If you'd like to join them and be added to my wall of legends, please click the link on the screen now or down in the description below. I thank you.